The brown recluse spider lives up to its name. It loves to hide in dark, out of the way places. The male brown recluse has a very small abdomen and long legs. The female has a large abdomen and is more poisonous than the male. The brown recluse spider is a nocturnal wanderer. Instead of staying put in a web like some spiders, it roams the whole house at night looking for food. Bites usually happen when a spider is trapped between clothing or a bed cover and bare skin. These spiders are notorious for climbing into your bed. Try to keep all your covers up off the floor. At the crack of dawn, these spiders retreat into any dark place they can find. If they've killed prey during the night, they'll usually go back to their nest. A house slipper can provide a dark, cozy retreat for a brown recluse. Bites can range from mild to severe. A lot depends on how much venom the spider has stored up. The worst case scenario would be to get bitten by a large female who hasn't eaten in three nights. It's not hard to see where this spider gets its common name, the fiddle spider. The dark brown violin shape on its back distinguishes it from all other spiders. The brown recluse is the only spider in the world with three sets of eyes. It's also the only spider in the world that sheds its skin like a snake. If you see dead spider skins hanging around, that's a sign of brown recluse. If you kill a spider in your home, place it on the lens of a flashlight. Make sure it's turned right side up. Now look for the dark brown violin shape. Their bodies shrivel up very quickly after being killed, so try to do this right away. These spiders are 10 times as dangerous as a black widow. As long as these spiders have a passageway from your living area to the crawl space underneath your house, your household sprays are not going to do much good. Any openings and cracks in baseboards and moldings must be caulked and sealed. This is really the first step in ridding your home of these spiders. Not only the homeowner needs to have knowledge of the brown recluse, the doctor and exterminator also need to know. If you're bitten by a brown recluse, bring the spider to the doctor if possible. Misdiagnosed treatment can spread the venom. Keep an ice pack on the bite and don't squeeze or mash it. Some people feel a sting when they get bitten and some don't feel anything at all. But eventually you will feel pain and there'll be a rash and a blister. A hole will then develop in your skin that keeps getting wider and deeper for months. The brown recluse bite can be deadly, but normally it's not life-threatening to adults. Amputations and surgery are common but some people choose to let the bite heal on its own.
When you finish watching this video, you should have a clear picture in your mind of what a brown recluse looks like. Sometimes the marking on the back is hard to see. Become familiar with the spider by its overall physical appearance. Always keep a flashlight and a magnifying glass handy in the house. If nothing else, look for a dark, solid brown mark across the back. The spider is normally a brown color, but it can vary from very light brown to almost black. The Midwestern and Southern states are a hotbed for these prolific breeders. They can be found in wood piles outdoors, but inside the home they are shut off from their natural enemies. So they tend to overpopulate much the same way as roaches. The purpose of this film is to enable you to identify a brown recluse spider. They may not have the flashy red hourglass as found on the bottom side of a black widow, but they do have a dark brown violin shape on the back. The brown recluse normally lives from one to two years, but can live up to five. Its body is one quarter to one half inch long. Let's be grateful we don't live in Chile the South American brown recluse is twice the size of ours. Just because you don't see these spiders during the daytime doesn't mean they're not there. They can't tolerate noise or light, so when things calm down after dark, that's when they start to prowl. From the time you discover an infestation until the time that you can either move or exterminate these spiders, you need to use every safety precaution you can. Over the years I've come up with some good ideas that I'd like to share with you. Use a bottle brush to clean your shoes out with. Cut a coat hanger near the head as shown and straighten it out and use it to turn your clothes inside out. Use a caulking gun all over the house, anywhere there's a crack. Always wear gloves when going into the wood pile or reaching back in dark corners. Keep a light colored throw rug next to your bed to shake the spiders out on. I hope this video will help keep you and your family safe. Keep it with your first aid kit so you always have a way to identify the brown recluse spider.